I have to do my PR work, you know, so. Yeah, we need some good pictures for this. Yes. Um, Carmelin, we I see you're recording the entire event, all right? Excellent, yep. Yeah. All right, Excellent. so. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, all the inductees are um, online, all, are they present? I see Nirvana, I see Indira, I see Mr. Siraj. Hello, good day. Sean here. Yeah. Good Hi. Hi. Sean by two. By two, yes. yes. <laughs> all right. Okay, so we, so we have the full compliment then. Um, Carmelin, did you have you sorted out that um, Samsung um, who it is or? Nope, I don't know who it is, so I need to depend on members um, and I, those who invited have a, guests as I try you to have a, indicate you have a, a number? protocol. You no, have a no, number because I don't I, have anything. But Nadira says she waited to get in. It's probably her. Well, ask her to jump out and jump back in, and she needs to put her name on. The device name. as she enters. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Dr. Masir? Yes, EG. You know, one of your inductees is a family member of mine. I won't hold that against her. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's a compliment that she's joining your club. <laughs> well, uh, EG, Hi. is there any other club for her to join in the South <laughs> Cluster? I hardly think so. Oh, you she's, joining the, she's joining the number one club anyway. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Guys, you all know I can't one? comment on that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Six that clubs in the South Cluster. No, you could comment that? because we're recording this entire meeting. You could comment. Feel free to comment. It will be held against you <laughs> <laughs> in a court of law. <laughs> we, we delete that part. We delete that part. <laughs> Who's that person? Um, Miss, Mrs. Perju Daniel. Oh, okay, Daniel. okay. Yeah. <laughs> So as, as I said in July, Rotary connects the world, and that's what I am doing as a president. <laughs> so, job well done. Yeah, so we're making some good connections, I think generally good connections. All right, so um, according to my watch, let me see, it's 7.08. Do you all want to wait until 7.10 to officially start? Um, I'll be guided. We're waiting on anybody else? Are we waiting on anyone else? Yeah, we waited on the, our, our members. We have um, from the club, Charter I didn't President. See DJ and Charter. Yeah, the main person. Where is um, our secretary? Our, our wow. me membership chair. Is he on? Yes. Just said really? I saw him, yeah. Yeah, he's on. Okay, right. Okay, yeah. Well, that is the key person for this program, you know. So if he's there, then I think, I mean, Let's begin. Um. Okay, so good evening, members and invited guests. I hereby call this evening's meeting to order. My name is Kamalain Manohar, Rotarian of the Rotary Club of Pinal. Good evening once again. Good and evening. Good evening. Can good we all evening. please stand for the national anthems? Okay, for this, I will need to take over the share from Rotaria Nada, who is sharing currently. So Nada, let me see if I switch share. Yours will stop and then mine will begin. So one second, folks, while I just click on the relevant items.
invite members to continue standing while I play the second national anthem for this evening's program. Once more, I invite members and guests to continue standing for the next item, which will be the opening prayer by Rotarian Deiraj Ramsing. It's a taped item, so now we will switch the sharing to Rotarian Nada's machine, and she will do the sharing from there. As members and guests continue to stand. Let us come in prayer. Our most gracious and loving God, we come before you today, the Rotary Club of Pinal, a diverse group of individuals, but all with one cause, which is to make a lasting positive difference in our community. Today, O oh Lord, we seek to induct new members to our fold, and we pray that these new members will not in only in their own way make a generous contribution in helping to carry our humanitarian torch but be encouragement and support for us all. We pray that tonight's first online, in, online induction will be seamless and will have the impact of a traditional meeting. But more than this, Lord, going forward as a larger, more empowered group, grant us the patience, discipline, and understanding to work together, embracing and respecting alternate views, the awareness and foresight to focus on the pertinent issues affecting our community, and the knowledge and creativity required to bring forth new ideas and solutions in response to present and future challenges. As we pray this prayer, we go with the understanding that all things are possible through you, and we go in faith, believing that as we pray, so it shall be. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you very much for that. And members, you all and guests, you are now invited to take your seats. And at this junction, we would invite members, current members of the Ritra Club of Pinal to introduce their guests. We could start with President, Dr. Eknath Misser. Okay, so um, good evening all. Are you all hearing me? Yes. 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 All right, I have to look at the, um, the list though. I had invited um, uh, one of the presidents from one of the other clubs who wanted to see how we're doing this online induction. I'm not sure whether he is there. That is the Rotarian Michael Bradshaw. I've not seen him on the list, but um, I would have, that would have been my guest for tonight. Thank you very much. Okay, Doc. I'm sure we could always share the recorded version with him. Yeah, thanks. All right, members, next. I would like to introduce my guest, Rotaria Brian Ramatali from San Fernando. Welcome, Brian. Thank you. Mm 
Jason. Pratir and Jason, can you hear us? His mic is on. Oh, he stepped out of your room. Hmm, that's very naughty. Where's our anyway, um, sergeant at arms? <clears throat> while, while we're waiting for Jason, um, I would, on his, I mean, I will introduce uh, another guest for this evening, Miss Darcel Donath, who has been, um, Working with us, as we say, Rotary Connects the World has been working with us in the um, hamper distribution in penal and environment. So welcome, Ms. Dudnat, to our meeting. Thank you very much, sir. It's a pleasure to be here, and good evening, everybody. Good evening. 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 All right, so I, I think that's it for guests. I'm scrolling the list. I mean, of course, our AG and district governor, we will, they will be introduced formally later on, but welcome as the guests of our induction ceremony. All right, thanks doc. And uh, next we would have the four-way test by Rotaria Nada. The four-way test of the things we think, say, or do. Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Wonderful. And next we would have introduction of the membership chair, but uh, Jason seems to be having some technical difficulties at the moment. Um, he just tried to call me, but as we all know, I'm chairing the meeting, so it's a little difficult for me to be chairing right now and trying to help out Jason. So, all right. um, um, Carmelin, yes, Doc Mongru messaged me and says that he waited to get in. Uh... All right, I'm not seeing him, though. He's probably um, the fancy phone. Well, that um, person, somebody raised their hand. I wonder if that's Mr. That's Bangor. That's me, that's me, yes. Okay, okay, he's on now. I am on, but it's like you see Nadra 1964, Nadra 1960, that's me. Okay, no, that's we see. I don't know. I'm sorry, but I am on. Excellent. Okay, welcome, Charter President. Thank you. So, Doc, if Jason... <clears throat> Nothing, Jason just said that he sort out his... I think he was on, he was on mute. So, let's go to Jason. Jason, can you say something? And I need the sergeant at arms again because I beg <laughs> members to test their items with me this afternoon before the meeting. And we, we would have avoided some technical issues, but that's okay. Uh, Charter President, to want to make yeah, a contribution um, again? Um, Rotarian, Carmelin, can you co take a, get a phone access to a phone and call Jason and just why what is the problem? Well, Charter, it's a little difficult for yeah, me to yeah. do that and be here at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Any, member, any member, this is what I'm using the chat, any member who has access to a phone who using their computer and can take their phone and call him right now because I am using my phone, I can't really hear. Maybe it's possible, but I'm technically challenged when coming to the thing. <laughs> He said it's on mute, Tim. He needs to do something with his device because in the room right now, he's not muted. Okay. So. Um, his phone going to voice message. <laughs> All 
Well, once more. That might more. be a hefty fine for him, eh? Indeed. Part of the technical difficulties. That's what technology does. Um, in his defense, he did test it out earlier in the day for a brief period. So I'm really not sure how he got additional difficulties now. All right. He said he's trying to log off and log on back there. He, he, um, he's, uh, he, he's on the chat, you know. I'm, I'm seeing his message on the chat. Right. Uh, he said he will log off and log on, Max. So let's give him half a minute. If not, we'll go on to the other program and let we could bring him later on just you know because, sure all right so check and like see a plan. how mm -hmm. easy managing to um right so his name will pop up once he yeah. tries to come back yeah. in very good all right once more we can have dialogue in the meantime for half a minute so, so you see why I had the music tapes for you all? But ah. you know, <laughs> we could have the music now. <laughs> but we were not able to load it or? I did not download it. All right, there's not a problem. Good night, everybody. Good night, Rotary and Clint. Sorry for being late, traffic was chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was flood by the creek. <laughs> Uh, how is your mother, um, Rotary and Clint? Um, she is coming along slowly. Uh, carried her to do an MRI yesterday at the Southern MRI, but um, she couldn't stay still enough for that long. For so, oh. <clears throat> carrying her to St. Clair next week to get it done in a bigger machine. Um, well, good luck. Hope everything settles. Yeah, thanks. Nirvana, you have a black back in behind you. Can't you only see in your face. <laughs> no, the video is off. Mm -hmm. Right, so Jason is now getting the log in, so I'm joining him in. And hopefully we will be over those issues shortly. Jason, are you there? I'm here, yeah. Right, so we are here, and you now. Okay, the floor is all yours. <laughs> yes. So introducing. Technical difficulties. Excuse me. Um, I think we have some problems with the internet here. So Jason, Sorry. you pay for everybody dinner tonight. Sure. <laughs> no, I, I I disagree. The, the dinner at our next meeting, when we all there face to face, that's the one he needs to pay for. <laughs> Okay, uh, District Governor Trevor Blake, Assistant District Governor Bobby Rupan, President of the Rotary Club of Penal, Ekaku Sir, Rotarians, inductees, specially invited guests, welcome to our first ever online induction ceremony. As most of you are here, RI President Mark Daniel Maloney hopes to increase membership to 1.3 million by the end of his term. Today, I am happy to announce that the Rotary Club of Penal will be adding five new members to assist. I was um, reluctant to take on this mantle as president of the Rotary Club of Pinal, but for the past weeks, I must say I am very proud to be the president because I have, um, you know, I've seen 
how the membership, how they have come together and how they're working together. We all have to face the COVID challenge and um, I think we have to rise above that. And I am very pleased to see how the members of the Rotary Club of Penal, it makes me feel very proud as a president to see how we have gelled and we continue to do some good work in our part of Trinidad and Tobago. I too want to say, I'm, uh, I, again, I apologize to our district governor for missing his visit when he visited Pinal. And um, I have been checking on the Moringas to see how they are coming along. So I, I, I have, we haven't forget that project. And um, of course, we, as your mandate, we have been trying to fulfill, you know, our project with diabetes, our at-risk youth projects. So we, you know, as far as possible, we are trying to um, fulfill all the requirements so that at the end of your year as district governor, it, it will be a very successful year. I must also say um, we are very, very appreciative of the support of our assistant governor, I have work to do, as, as was said before, and um, again, I want to say welcome to the new members, and um, we look forward to continue to, you know, building the strength of the Rotary Club of Pinal. So with these few words, I hand over back to you, Kamalin, and um, let's continue with this ceremony. Thank you very much, President. Um, again, technical issues will continue because, again, we are trying this uh, for the first time, and as well, technology has that uh, knack for doing what it shouldn't do from time to time. So I was just bumped off myself twice uh, during that uh, talk by Dr. Messier. All right, so next on the agenda is the pandemic uh, message. Doc, I was able to get it up, so we can go ahead with that. Sorry, let me start over, right? right. And mic, so my, mic was on, my mic was on mute, but on mute. All right. So while you um getting the um the PDF on the right. screen. It should, it should be on now. Right, very good. So that um you know when we were doing the online survey today from Rotary International in terms of what our club has been doing with respect to COVID and the coronavirus, um I, I thought um, you know, for for the um, non-teaching members, like the people who are not in the teaching profession, but this is what we have been sharing with our schools, this, this presentation, and um, it's, it's, it's very simple, and um, we could probably just show it um, very quickly, so that um, you could scroll down, um, Carmelin, I mean. Sure. Okay, it, it has to do with the coronavirus and what are the things that we're supposed to do, so that um, if you could, you could just continue to scroll, scroll, sorry. Sure. Right. So that, I mean, it's, it's self-evident. I don't think I have to read everything there. So that um, whole thing about minimizing droplet spread. And of course, we have the graphics to demonstrate that. So keep going. All right. And the social distancing. We all know that that is one of the key things in this particular pandemic because we don't really have a vaccine and we don't really have any specialized treatment. I mean, there are a lot of trials on, as we all know, but the main thing really is the social distancing and of course, covering your face and nose with a mask. All right, so keep going. Okay, so the reason why we have to meet online is because we don't want people, you know, crowding. Of course, in Trinidad, five is the limit. Anything beyond that, you could be charged under the public health ordinance. So keep going. All right, and this is, I mean, this is something that maybe you should spend a few seconds looking at it because we know this is a problem. Um, I could tell you doorknobs 
are notorious for harboring germs and bacteria. And this is one area, especially where in schools where you have a lot of children or in public places. I mean, I could tell you when we do swabs, we pick up bacteria there all the time. So it's something that you have to sanitize. Of course, yes, people put pens in their mouth. And of course, we know people don't dispose of tissues um, properly. Our phones, we're supposed to clean our phones more regularly now, all the digital devices. So that, I mean, we could go on. I think most people by now are aware of these. What's lift buttons, Doc? Huh? Oh, lift ele elevators. Ele elevators, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, because of multiple use and people not practicing good hand washing, you know, they will transmit bacteria and germs to the um, buttons, any kind of buttons there. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Right. And remember, the message has been repeated that, you know, you make sure you don't put your hands in your eyes because that is where you will introduce the coronavirus. If you hold a dirty doorknob and then you rub your eyes afterwards, then you will get corona, okay? And um, these numbers, I mean, there's a lot of debate about how long the virus can stay alive on an inert surface, like a table or a knob and so on, so that you would see different numbers. But the idea is that we have to clean these services regularly, especially multiple use areas, so that um, that is the only way to kill the virus. Okay, so that um, you know, the 48 hours is, is a debate. So we could move on. Right, and if we've, I think people would have heard this five precautions repeatedly. So we just go it over one more time so that everybody, okay, wash your hands, okay, and remember the happy birthday song so that you have to take at least 20 seconds to wash and make sure you watch what we call your webs, which is between your fingers, that area. And while you're, um, you know, you're supposed to sing happy birthday song twice while you're washing your hands, okay, with soap and water. Go on. And yes, you need to wash up to almost your elbows, all right? Sorry, if, if you have a long sleep, you have mm. to roll up your sleeves to wash, all right? Okay, and here we are emphasizing about, you know, between the nails and that sort of thing. We just talk about that. Next, go ahead. Mm -hmm. One second. So I'm switching between the drawing tools and then the mouse, so. Right, so we talk about the mask so that you know, and you have to change them regularly. Or, I mean, now it's becoming very popular where people are using masks that you can wash. So you need to have, you know, more than one, so that when you have wash, you know, you could use another one. All right. And of course, the technique for putting on and taking off the mask, you know, you have to be very particular with that because you don't really want to make sure that you introduce germs to the side. All right. Keep going. Right, so I mean, we talk about this. Is, I mean, I, I, I must say, I'm very proud of a lot of the people I know who, um, you know, they have been trying to, you know, spare the senior citizens and so on from contact, and they have been, you know, using the technology to call them and so on. In addition to that, um, these, you know, you have to have some kind of, um, it's the same distancing we're talking about, but you have to make sure that these are properly taken care of when you're doing you know, sanitizing and that sort of thing. All right. And, you know, we should really change our towels two or three times a week, eh? So let's, and of course we have, um, it's almost like a culture here where, you know, we, our hands tend to gravitate towards our nose and eyes and ears. Of course, we also put motor car keys and that sort of thing so that, um, you know, that, that will have to change sooner or later. And of course, now it is recommended that you call your doctor, don't present yourself to the emergency department or where you have a crowded waiting room, but you should call first and seek advice if you could on the phone. Failing that, then you may then you present yourself at the emergency or the private provider. So please stay safe. We are gradually lifting, but um, we can't do it too hurriedly so that um, 
bear with the public health authorities so that um, we don't really have a second wave and a third wave as is happening in other countries. So thank you very much. Okay, wonderful. So on to our next item, which would be one of the key features for this evening the induction of our new members. So once more, inviting Nada to take over the share. What's your name, Jason? Are you supposed to say anything? Let me see if I have to unmute him. There we go. Jason? Can you hear me? Right, we're hearing you now. Okay, we were hearing him. Okay, well, since we're not here, let's hear Jason. Um, we will now have um, our fellow Rotarians reading the biographies of our five new Rotarians. Born in Trinidad, Sean Boyce migrated to the United States of America at a very early age. There he obtained his elementary to tertiary education before starting his working life in the entertainment industry and getting married to his wife, Miriam. This portfolio in the world of entertainment promotion allowed for extensive networking, very close relations and good friends. This all came to a sudden end with the terrorist attack of September 11, 2001 on New York's World Trade Center, in which Sean lost many of his very close associates, colleagues, and friends. This tragedy and the loss of those close to him had a substantial emotional impact on Sean's life. And in 2009, he returned to Trinidad with his wife. In Trinidad, he worked in the construction and petrochemical industries for companies included, including York Construction and Damas Limited before establishing his own business, Trinwash Limit, Limited, located in Faisabad, South Trinidad, in partnership with his wife. Married with two children, Sean also serves as president of the Rosilak Hindu Primary Schools Parent Teachers Association and is a member of the Faisabad Chamber of Commerce. The Rotary Club of Pinal is pleased to induct and welcome Sean Boyce with the designation contractor. Thank you. Miriam Boyce was born in Pennsylvania, United States of America, and was educated in the United States education system at all levels, eventually achieving a degree in accounting from the Montgomery County Community College. Miriam worked for various American entities, including the United States Census Bureau, the Hartford Insurance Company, Homestead Senior Care, and Quest Diagnostic. During this time, she met and married her husband, Sean, a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago. In 2009, Miriam returned with Sean to his homeland, where she homeschooled her two daughters, served as a preschool teacher, and gave private lessons to primary school students. In 2009, Miriam, together with her husband, established their own business, Trinwash Limited, in Faisabad, South Trinidad. Miriam is an avid reader, and in addition to running her business, she is active in the community serving as a Sunday school teacher at the Calvary Bible Church, executive member of the Parents Teachers Association, of the Rosilak Hindu Primary School and a member of the Board of Directors of the Faisabad Chamber of Commerce. The Rotary Club of Pinal is pleased to induct and welcome Miriam Boyce with the designation of General Contracting. 
Thank you. A brief biography of Mr. Chandu Siraj. Chandu Siraj has a passion for hands-on work in the petrochemical industry, having worked his way up in the oil and gas and industrial sector from the position of foreman in 2002 to the managing director of his very own construction company, Conservia General Contractors Management and Maintenance Services Limited, registered in the year 2012. Born and raised in Princestown, Trinidad, and just 38 years of age, Chandu has considerable experience with fabrication, pipe fitting, and rigging in the petrochemical industry locally, in South America, and in the United States. Chandu started his working career with Super Industrial Services, working on the Nitrogen 2000 plant, and since then has held various portfolios ranging from fabricator, pipe fitter, rigger to assistant project superintendent with other local and foreign-based companies in the petrochemical industry, including Demos Limited, Weld Fab, Sami's Multilifts, TOSL, Massey Wood Group, Stockholm International, working in Aruba, and Caribbean Bay International, working in the United States of America. To adapt to the changing requirements of his various portfolios and the desire for personal advancement, Chandu has pursued and successfully completed many trade and academic courses and programs, including pipe fitting, rigging, surveying, workplace safety, supervisory management, project management, and more recently, completing his degree in accounting and financial management from Anglia Ruskin University, Lord Ashcroft International Business School at the School of Accounting and Management. The Rotary Club of Pinal is pleased to induct and welcome Chandu Siraj with the designation Contractor. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. All protocols observed. My name is Kamalain Manohar, and it is my esteemed pleasure this evening to present to you Mrs. Indira Birju Daniel. Born in Laramine, South Trinidad, to a family of educators, primary school principal, Mrs. Indira Birju Daniel's professional fate seemed to have been pre-written. Having tried her hand at other disciplines, including banking, Mrs. Birju Daniel quickly realized that the teaching profession was her calling. Upon completion of the teacher's diploma at the Valsane Teachers College in 1992, she went on to serve as teacher at the Dainan Memorial Vedic Primary School. Education District, President of the Principals Association of St. Patrick, Education District, and Secretary of the National Primary Schools Principals Association. The Rotary Club of Pinal is pleased to induct and welcome Mrs. Indira Birju Daniel with the designation Educator. Thank you and good evening. Immediately upon leaving the formal school system, Nirvana Rambalak explored a career in banking and computing. However, it was not long before she realized her true passion was in the field of health, safety, and the environment, HSE. Over the years, Nirvana has undertaken extensive training through various institutions in the field of HSE locally and abroad, including NIBOSH, the National Safety Council, COSTAT, Department of Health Science, where she obtained her degree in Occupational Safety and Health, Robert Gordon University of Scotland, and the University of South Florida. Her focus on continuous advancement in education secured Nirvana's career advancement. 
Starting her career with ENSCO, Oceanic Company, in a junior capacity, she quickly worked her way up the ranks in various positions for local and foreign entities, including RGIT Montrose Limited, Petrofac, HSE Solutions Limited, to a current position as HSE Consultant at Astel Services Company Limited. In addition to her independent career as an HSE professional, Nirvana also serves as a director in her family's businesses, Rambalak Filling Station Limited and R. Rambalak and Sons Limited, for which she is a representative to the Pinal Debe Chamber of Commerce. She also holds membership and serves on the boards of various non-profit organizations, including National Council for Indian Culture, NCIC, Swaha Vishok Bhavan Children's Home, Advisory Committee, RGIT Montrose Trinidad Limited, and the Trinidad and Tobago Association for Retarded Children. The Rotary Club of Pinal is pleased to induct and welcome Nirvana Rambalak with the designation Business Owner. Thank you. I'll now pass you back to the chair, Jason. Jason, can you hear us? All right, so the internet connectivity again. All right, Doc, uh, would you like to take over and say a couple of words for the Rotary Descriptive? Let's see if I get Dr. Messer's mic back on. Yeah. President, um, right? Mm, mm. I, I am not sure what Jason had in mind for this, you know, so you're putting <laughs> me on this spot. So I'm, I think we could probably move on from that and go on to the actual um, fitting of these the new pinning. members. All Not right. a problem. I have the Rotary descriptive. If we can't get him, um, I guess somebody could read it on his behalf. Yeah, go right ahead, Nada. <laughs> well, oh, so he said... Um, no, no, go ahead, Nada. You, I think you should go ahead and read it, you know. Nada, her mic went to mute. Let's see if I get her back on. Yes. Yes, Nads, go ahead. Mr. Sean Boyce, Mr. Samarian Boyce, Mrs. Indira Berichidania, Mr. Chandi Siraj, Ms. Nirvana Rambo. You have been chosen to membership in the Rotary Club of Pinal because fellow members believe you to be a leader in your vocation because you manifest those qualities of head and of heart which fit you to interpret and impart the message of Rotary to those with whom you come in contact. You are the representative of your vocation in this club and any contribution of an educational value pertaining to that vocation must naturally come to us through you. On the other hand, you became the ambassador from us to your classification, and it becomes your duty to carry the ideals and principles of service to your work. The object of Rotary is to encourage and foster the ideal of service as a basis, basis of worthy enterprise, and in particular, to encourage and foster, first, the development of acquaintance as an opportunity for service, second, high ethical standards in business and professions, the recognition of the worthiness of all useful occupations, and the dignifying by each Rotarian of his occupation as an opportunity to serve society. 
Third, the application of the ideal of service by every Rotarian to his personal business and community life. Fourth, the advancement of international understanding, goodwill, and peace through a world fellowship of business and professional persons united in the ideal of service. I charge you to judge yourself by the rotary four-way test of the things you think, say, or do. Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? The community will know and judge rotary through your embodiment of it in character and service. And we accept you as a member because we believe our principles and organization to be safe in your keeping. We also expect much from you in help and inspiration, which, en which will enable us to be better Rotarians. And with this hope, we must heartily offer you Rotary Fellowship. Fellow Rotarians, it is a duty of our Rotary Club to add new members from time to time so that we may not only increase our usefulness and influence as a club, but also to extend the spirit of Rotary throughout the community. Today, I welcome to our ranks and admit to membership these five new members. Rotarians, you have been elected to membership in this club because your fellow members believe you to be really representative of your quorum and also to possess qualities that will permit you to exemplify the true spirit of Rotary in your public, business, social, and private life. I wish to impress upon you that you have been admitted not only to the Rotary Club of Pinal, but to a worldwide association, and by virtue of your membership in this club, you will be welcome into the fellowship of the Rotary Club in the world, of any Rotary Club in the world. The honor and privilege of Rotary membership carries with it duties and obligations. You'll be expected to attend the club's meetings regularly, to perform your share of club service, and to place your knowledge and talents at the disposal of the club in its task of carrying the principles of Rotary into the daily life of the community. Rotarians, in the name of the Rotary Club of Pinal, I now formally admit you to the membership in this club and, a and you will see in our videos, we affixed the lapels. Fellow Rotarians, I commend to you our newest members, Rotarian Sean Boyce, who has been loaned the classification of maintenance contractor, Rotarian Miriam Boyce, who has been loaned the classification of contractor and accountant, Rotarian Chandu Siraj, who has been loaned the classification of general contractor, Rotarian Indira Birju Daniel, who has been loaned the classification of educator, and Rotarian Nirvana Ramblak, who has been loaned the classification of HLC cons consultant. And we welcome you. I will now show you all um, the oath taken ceremony and pinning ceremony of these Rotarians. I, Sean Boyce. I, Miriam Boyce. I, John Lucy Raj. Have been admitted as, as a new member of the Rotary Club of Pinal, Rotary, Rotary International, International District of 730, to hereby solemnly swear upon my honor to faithfully and willingly discharge the duties and responsibilities as a Rotarian, fully conscious of the important obligations which I have voluntarily committed to assume. I further pledge to uphold and defend the Constitution and bylaws of the Rotary Club of Pina and that of Rotary International. Ever putting into practice Rotary's motto, service above self, and applying the four-way test as the basis of all my actions and activations to help advance the logic of Rotary, given the emphasis to this year's RIP, Rotary Connects the World. All these, I pledge 
pledge and promise to do and observe to the best of my ability without any mental reservation or purpose of invasion. So help me that. as member of the Rotary Club of Final, Rotary International District 1730, do hereby solemnly swear upon my honor to faithfully and willingly discharge the duties and responsibilities as a Rotarian, fully conscious of the important obligations which I have voluntarily committed to assume. I further pledge to uphold and defend the constitution and bylaws of the Rotary Club of Pina and that of Rotary International, ever putting into practice Rotary's motto, service above self, and applying the four-way test as the basis of all my actions and actuations to help advance the object of Rotary, giving emphasis to this year's RIP. Rotary connects the world. All these I pledge and promise to do and observe to the best of my ability without any, any mental reservation of purpose or evasion. So help me God. Purpose of Thank you. I, Nirvana Rambala, have been admitted as a new member of the Rotary Club of Pinal, Rotary International District 7030, to hereby solemnly swear upon my honor faithfully and willingly discharge the duties and responsibilities as a Rotarian, fully conscious of the important obligations which I have voluntarily committed to assume. I further pledge to uphold and defend the constitution and bylaws of the Rotary Club of Pinal and that of Rotary International, ever putting into practice Rotary's motto, service above self, and applying the four-way test as the basis of all my actions and actuations to help advance the objects of Rotary, giving emphasis to this year's RI theme, Rotary Connects the World. All these I pledge and promise to do and observe to the best of my ability without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Congratulations on becoming the newest member of the Rotary Club of Pinal. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Wonderfully done. There by Rotarian Nada, piecing all of these together. And the floor is now open for 
bring in congratulations. So I will do so firstly myself. Congratulations to all our new members. And as we were discussing in the room before we formally began, welcome to the best Rotary Club in South Trinidad. Thank you. Thank you. Members? So let me start as the president to congratulate these new members and um, we look forward to working together. Chata, go right ahead. Thank, thank you, sir. Chata? My heart is congratulations to all the newly inducted members. And I wish you all all the best and look forward to the pleasure of working with you all in the best interest of Rotary International and the Rotary Club of Pinal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks much. Members, Clint, would you like to go next? Congratulations to our five newest members to Rotary International in the world. And I hope you all keep up um, the good work from what you have been doing before to enter into Rotary and continued success into Rotary. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Clint. Pam. Hi, thanks. Good evening, all. My name is Pamela. I would like to welcome all five newest Rotarians to the club. And I'm looking forward to work with you all. So welcome again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we now. Hello. Yes, we're hearing you. Oh, you hear me. A hearty congratulations to you all, and as everybody previously mentioned, welcome to Best Rotary Club in, in the South Costa. <laughs> Happy to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks again. Vijay? Just want to say congratulations. I probably would have met each one of you and told you that already so this is our second congratulations and welcome to the Rotary Club of Pinal and really really looking forward to working with you all in the coming years to come. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you Vijay. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. I saw Rotarian Nadira her name just popped off the screen. Not too sure if she just, she got bumped out. Oh, there she is. Hands raised. Go ahead, Nadira. You need to unmute your mic if it's not. Ah, there you go. She's still muted. Let's try again. Go ahead, Nadira. That's not trying to unmute it. Mm -hmm. We can hear you now. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Right. Welcome. Are you hearing me? Yes, Nadira, we're hearing you loud and clear. <laughs> okay. Um, congratulations and welcome to the Rotary Club of Pinal. And I look forward to working with each and every one of you as the upcoming secretary from July. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Did I miss out any members? Jason. Jason. Let's try Jason again. Jason. After, after Jason, we can break for dinner. Are you hearing me? Ah, we hear you now. Go ahead, Jason. <laughs> Congratulations to you all. Sorry for all the technical difficulties, but welcome to the best Rootsy Club. <laughs> Thank you, right. Mr. Gopi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Right. Any one of the invited guests would like to say anything at this point? They're welcoming our members in. 
they have to unmute our our um yes. EGs. let's see let me find him good evening good evening everyone good evening, good evening. um uh, Randy Raj here. um i'd like to congratulate and welcome uh the newest rotarians um rotarian chandu rotarian indira rotarian Miriam, rotarian sean and rotarian nirvana welcome thank you thank you thank you all right, wonderful. My apologies there, they Raj. So the list is a bit long, we're scrolling up and down. Anybody else? So the floor is open again. All right. All right, so at this stage, uh, we would have now a little replies from each of the new Rotarians one at a time. You have a two minutes or so. so. Nobody's rushing. You want me to call you out one by one? <laughs> Come on, folks, step up to the plate. So or maybe one could speak on all of them, the behalf of in right. Indira has a hand raised. Very good. Yes, the principal, so, so. let's go. <laughs> um, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, first of all, I would like to observe all protocols. And I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the members of the Rotary Club of Penal. Um, Indeed, I would agree that it is one of the best Rotary Clubs in the country because, I mean, it's in the community of Pina and I hope to add value to this association and uh, I am very eager to work together with you in the interest of mankind and uh, we at Dainan Memorial Vedic School and by extension, the educators of St. Patrick look forward to engaging in projects and other forms of activities with the Rotary Club of Pinal. I do hope that I can add value to this association and I want to put on the record that I am willing to assist in any way that I can. Thank you very much for accepting me into this association. Thank you. Very well done, you're very welcome. All right, so at this stage, I would like to invite A.G. Debbie to take the mic. Thank you very much, Chairman, District Governor Trevor Blake, President of the Rotary Club of Pinal, Dr. Ignat Messier, fellow Rotarians, and in particular, our newly inducted Rotarians, specially invited guests, good evening to all. It is always a pleasure for me to attend a meeting of the Rotary Club of Pinal, whether it is in person or virtually. Your club is well known, not just for the worthwhile projects it engages in, but for being trendsetters. And it came as no surprise to me that RC Pinal, even in the face of COVID-19, would press forward with the induction of new members so as to increase its fold at a time when more than ever, we need our Rotary foot soldiers on the ground to assist those in need. I congratulate your club on taking this step. To the newly inducted Rotarians, I say to you, that those who proposed you for membership paid you a great compliment. They saw in you those characteristics which would make a fine Rotarian, and I trust that you would live up to the confidence placed in you. Tonight is a very special night. We are fortunate to have the head of our district, District Governor Trevor Blake, address us, and I have the pleasure as AG of introducing him to you. And I will tell you a little bit now of, about DG Trevor. Our district governor is from St. Kitts, 
and he's the managing director of the Eastern Caribbean Securities Exchange Limited and its subsidiaries, the Eastern Caribbean Central Securities Depository Limited, and the Eastern Caribbean Central Securities Registry Limited, a group he has headed since January 2005. An active Rotarian since joining the Rotary Club of St. Kitts in 1999, our governor has served in various capacities on his club's board and served as club president in Rotary's centennial year. He also served four consecutive terms as assistant governor for St. Kitts and Nevis. I don't know how he did that. He was awarded a Paul Harris Fellow in 2012 and is a charter member of the Rotary Club of St. Kitts. DJ Trevor is married to his partner in service, Michelle, and they are the proud parents of two children, Brittany and Brandon. Without further ado, I hand over to our district governor, Trevor, to address you. Thank you. Thank you, E.G. Debbie, and good evening all, President Aknath and uh, the board and members of, of the Rotary Club of Pino. Um, I am very, very pleased indeed to be here with you tonight. Um, I am especially delighted uh, since uh, tonight is the night when you inducted five new members to your club. I want to say to those new members, congratulations and welcome to the family of Rotary. Because this is what it is. It is a family. It's a family that, it's, that, that inv in, involves at first level, your fellow members in the Rotary Club of, of Penal. Then it extends outwards to the cluster, Southern Cluster, and then the entire family of Rotarians in Trinidad and Tobago. Beyond that, it extends further into the entire district, where we have some 2,300 Rotarians uh, across 17 countries and territories in 72 clubs, comprising the family of Rotary in District 7030. And of course, beyond that, it is the entire 1.3 million Rotarians across the world who form this august institution that you are now a part of. Um, joining the family is, is not a, a simple thing. It's not something that is done lightly. Uh, for you to be proposed and accepted into the family, it means that you share some of the characteristics, some of the, the, um, the principles that the family is known for, the tenets by which the family lives. So we expect from you that you will live up to those lofty ideals. You will put service above self, which is our motto in Rotary, by now you would have known that, that you live up to that spirit of serving humanity for which we, we live, essentially. We are Rotarians because we, we want to serve. We are Rotarians because we get pleasure from the service that we provide to our communities and further feed to the entire world. The becoming Rotarian in this current environment is especially um, poignant as in this new reality in which we live with COVID-19, our communities need us perhaps more than ever. And while we have to, of course, to, to, to maintain our social distancing, hence we are doing this induction, or we have done this induction virtually, we have to continue to serve our communities. The, 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 the COVID pandemic has brought more, more to, or to the fore, more evidence of the needs in our community. It, it has brought more opportunities for us to serve our, our community. Your entire club, will be and has been, I, from what I've seen, uh, doing its best to try to bring some relief to the, your communities during this period. You, I expect to be a, a part of it, and I know you will, you will, um, you will play your important role in, in this effort. 
I listened to the bios very carefully and I noted from your backgrounds that you would fit very nicely into the Rotary Club of Pino. And uh, you are wise to get involved from the word go into the projects that, that Pino uh, uh, are involved in or the club is involved in and uh, that you will play an integral role in the club's project going forward. I am pleased and I want to congratulate um, President Aknath for this and your membership chair. Um, at the beginning of the year, I, I asked each Rotary Club to admit at least one, at least one new member and to retain at least 90% of the existing members so that we could, at the end of the year, end up with a net new membership across the district of about 78 or so persons. When I last I looked last week and when I reported to the Council of Governors, we had in fact had, had a net gain of 32 members. When I drilled down to the statistics though, I noticed that we had, we had onboarded 82 new members, but had lost something like 50 members for a net gain of eight of 32. That is not good. We have to do more to ensure that we could, we could maintain our membership. And I know perhaps in the foreseeable future, uh, that may be more and more of a challenge. But with five new members coming on board to penal tonight, I am, I am very, very heartened. And if every club uh, were able to do this, and now that they know that they could do it virtually in the absence of a physical meeting, I hope other clubs will, will, will do the same. And uh, in the next uh, perhaps five or so weeks before the end of the, the year, we could get to the membership target that we started with at the beginning. But you have done your part and I'm very, very pleased that you have in terms of bringing on five new members five quality members, I, I must say, and uh, listening to the bios and the fact that these members have remained engaged in the period when the club has not been meeting uh, tells me that there's, there's, there's substance to them and there's a lot to be, to, to be had from their membership going forward. I am glad you chose to do it virtually and not to have these new members waiting for an indefinite period of time uh, and perhaps get a little discouraged and disillusioned. So I'm happy that this has been done now, a bit virtually, so that they could become full members of our family, of our Rotary family, and play an integral role in that. We have uh, just about five weeks, as I said, uh, remaining, uh, five or six weeks remaining in this, in this Rotary year. The, the theme this year, as I think uh, one of the earlier speakers said, is Rotary connects the world, and the, this evening's experience is testament to that, how Rotary does, in fact, connect the world. And the current uh, environment with the COVID-19 and us being, having to find other more innovative ways to remain engaged and to remain a family helps in terms of connecting our world and bringing that theme to reality. I don't think President Mark, when he chose this theme uh, more than a year ago, would have uh, ever imagined it would have taken on such an importance in his term as, as, as Rotary International President. But it has. And, um, and uh, we have to do all that we could to continue to use the technology, etc., cetera, to enable Rotary to continue to connect the world. Um, I, 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 am, I am pleased again with what you have done in Pinal, and I will certainly be encouraging other clubs to do similarly in, 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 this, in this period of, of lockdown and social distancing. Use the technology to ensure that we could grow our membership and uh, continue to engage in that important work that we do in our communities. I know we've been here. We've been here for about um, for more than an hour, and I know everybody wants to get on to 
to their dinners and, and, and whatever else they have to do for this evening. Some have other meetings. My own club is meeting this evening as well, so I would try to go for the last part. So I wouldn't uh, delay you much longer, except again to say that I, I am pleased, President Aknath, of, in your introductory remarks, you mentioned uh, that you are working towards the, um, the goals that we set out. Uh, membership is just one of them. But in terms of the special projects, uh, youth at risk, uh, diabetes, you are maintaining your, your, your focus on that. Again, the COVID-19 could, could delay us a bit, but it shouldn't stop us. It should just create more opportunities for us to, to make the impacts that we need to make in our, in our, in our, in our communities. Um, I am particularly pleased as well that 60% uh, of the new members that you have inducted tonight are female. That is an exceptionally good thing. And I, I, I want to encourage you to continue to maintain that focus on, on getting good quality female members. Um, I don't know the ages, but they all look young in their photos. So I, some of them must be below the age of four. 40, which is the next, um, the next demographic that we, we, we want to, to focus on. But keep up the good work, um, keep engaged. I know we had a, a, a bit of um, you know, difficulties at the start with technology. Trust me, that's, 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 not, that's not at all peculiar to you. I have been in a number of Zoom meetings at RI level and things like that, and they have had these types of difficulties. So don't feel this out and don't feel that, you know, it's, it's a feeling on your part. Technology does that. Just, just, just have that, just see that as an experience, something that you can learn from uh, so that you could um, improve um, your, your efforts going forward. Um, we unfortunately did not have the opportunity to meet in conference this year as we would normally do. What we are going to do uh, towards the end of the year, maybe over the next four or so weeks, is to have a, a virtual district assembly, a district business meeting, where we, where we could do the business of the district that, uh, that is necessary for us to do um, before the end, of, the end of the year. So you'll, re, you'll be hearing more about that. The, the opportunity here in this, and interestingly, um, Pres President-elect Colga's uh, theme is Rotary creates opportunities here. So, and, and this, this particular environment now is creating more and more opportunities. The benefit here we will have is that more persons than those who were planning to travel to say Kits in April could participate in the, in, the, in the virtual event that we will have in June. The opportunities, again, we see the, the, the pres, uh, district governor-elect Lyle is conducting his, his uh, pet sessions remotely via Zoom, Zoom. And again, more and more people are able to participate in those sessions. So this pandemic, while it does present a significant challenge to us and with, 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 with great adversity, uh, it also provides us opportunity to get involved in more, in more things that we would normally would have gotten involved in, in meeting more, more Rotarians virtually. Um, we have the weekly directors Zoom meetings at the zone level. We are, be, we are, we are able therefore to participate with, with, with uh, fellow Rotarians within our zone, with, you know, uh, which we would not normally participate in except for the, the zone institutes that are held um, at, at discrete times over the year. And we are only a few PDGs and this DGEs and DGs, et cetera, participate. Now the entire Rotary family in the district could participate in the, Zoom, in, the, in the zone meetings. So I encourage you to participate in them. The next one is coming up on, on Friday at 7.30 in the morning with a repeat on Monday. And especially for you, new, new, new inductees, uh, the more you are able to participate in these things, the more, the more um, 
uh, uh, the more ingrained roots will become in your lives and uh, it will only be for your benefit going forward. Um, I think I've gone on for long enough now. <laughs> so without further ado, I would like to say again, thank you for inviting me, President Agnath. Thank you for having me participate in this, in this um, virtual induction ceremony. It is my first, and I hope it would not be my last. Thank you, good night to all. Thank you. Thank you, DG Trevor. Thank you. AG Debbie, would you like to say anything to close off this, this segment? No, no, just to say thank you very much to DG Trevor. I know he has been very busy with meetings and it's just wonderful that he was here for this function today. Amalyn, are you hearing me? Yes, we okay. are, Jason. So right on time and right on cue. So we should have our next segment coming up from our membership chair, Jason Gopi. Go right ahead, Jason. Well, this, we, we, this is just the vote of thanks to close this evening off. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank God because without him, nothing is possible. DG Trevor Blake, thank you for attending this meeting all the way from St. Kitts, despite your busy schedule. And thank you for your inspiring words of encouragement. AG Debbie, thank you for your continued support. You have always made yourself available for our club when we need your assistance. President Ignat Messer, thank you for ensuring that we live up to our rules as Rotarians. Although sometimes I get a little ball up for nothing, but nevertheless, you have been our role model in our club. Thank you all to all the guests who attended. Thank you to the new members who are taking the initiative to become Rotarians. Thank you to all the Rotarians present. And last but not least, thank you to the hardworking committee. None of this would have been possible without your dedication. Amalyn, Deiraj, Narada, DJ, and our secretary, DJ. I'm very grateful for your assistance. Thank you all. Have a safe journey to your bedrooms. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. And to the kitchen. Thank you, Jason. Thank you very much, membership chair, Jason. And um, I want to say a special thanks to Kamalin for keeping the meeting. I mean, in spite of the little challenges, it's just beyond 8.30. So I think that was, I mean, very, very nice. And um, we, should, we appreciate that. And um, I, ha I have one announcement to make on, in terms of fellowship. And um, today, Sean and Miriam's daughter is celebrating oh. her birthday. So I want to um, wish her a very happy birthday. And of course, she will get the, the card. You know, Roshikawa Pinal will send a card to her for her birthday in due course. And of course, I am um, I have apologies from our secretary, Dana Wright, who is a little bit under the weather and he couldn't make it tonight. But he has been, you know, messaging me on WhatsApp and so on. So please, thank you all very much and um, have a wonderful evening for the inductees. You could um, celebrate with your spouse at home. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. President, thank you very much for recognizing that. Thank you. Before we leave, uh, could I just yeah. say one question? Sure. Uh, tomorrow is President Mark, Matt Maloney's birthday, President okay. International. If you could get onto Facebook, uh, I've shared a, a page where we are shouting him, him up. So uh, give him a shout. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Will do. Will Excellent. Do. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, DG. Charter President okay. had his hand raised. Charter, go right ahead. Well, I, I just want to say that I could not uh, participate in a Zoom uh, teleconference without having dinner. So today, today I had cascado and rice. <laughs> and I enjoyed the meeting and I enjoyed it at the same time as well. It was wonderful. So cheers to all the members. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Charter. Well, once more, we have come to the end of our wonderful program tonight. Thanks, everyone, for joining in, and have a safe evening. Bye. Thank you, guys. Be well. Bye. 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 Good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Tom Lynn? Yep. Oh. Same I'm, here. It's, I think, um, well, besides the low JSON technical difficulty, I think it was just internet, though. I feel like yeah, what, even mine, I'm surprised. I got bumped out like three times. I was like, what? So I was surprised yeah. that because you got bumped off, like we didn't, because you were hosted. Yeah, but um, and that's the software. The software does that. Whoever's remaining in the meeting, it'll automatically give the um, host to somebody else until I jump back in. So that's just cool. It works. Yeah, that was good because then we would all just click. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think um, it may have been his internet. But you know, um, around this time is when everybody needs it. That internet. is it. Because everybody rushed in to do something, watch a movie at this dinner yeah. time. And that does cause issues. Because if yeah. my daughter is complaining, once you watch a movie, the social will come out and say, internet drop and I was like, uh, it's busy time. Yeah. But I think everybody, well, I was kind of messaging to see people was here and I'm seeing. I'm seeing. Yeah. Oh, we still been recorded. <laughs> Let me see if I can stop that now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, do, do, do. Where is that? Pause, stop recording.